Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. Now in this section, I'm going to take you guys through the method of movement. Just an introduction to that. So with the method of movement, um, there are different ways in solving the method of movement. Um, that is, is basically an estimator, which is used to estimate um, a particular parameter. So uh, we use the method of movement, we use um, the variation and then the rest. But then today we are uh, focused on the method of movement and then um, with that I'm going to take you through how to solve the method of movement when it is in a discrete case and then when it is in a continuous case. So let's look at how we can do that. So in a discrete situation we are given um, the method of movement is given by the expectancy of the um, of the S to a particular um, exponent, let's say K here being equal to so that one will be equal to one over the number of samples which you are give, being given and then what you do next is just to sum up the um, s values in this case so k here and that of f of x here and this is basically equal to the the moment which is um, the k moment let's see here the the k moment so this can be the first moment so m1 we can have the second moment m2 the third moment m3 so basically this is in the in the case of when you have a discrete case that is in a discrete variable so in the discrete variables um this is how we do that and basically what this equation means is that you are summing the, the number the the s values that you are being given divided by the number of s values that you are given in the question so and that is basically equal to the um, the uh, the mean which is the expectation so this is basically equal to the mu year right so that is the first case so let's call this one one year now the second case is when um, you are given a continuous variable so in the case of continuous variable we have e of s let's say to the power k year being equal to so for that one you are just solving it um as the same as um, that of you are finding the um the uh, probability um density function of a continuous case where you are given the integral of x here multiplied by the f of s the x here starting from let's say um, infinite positive infinity to negative infinity in this case so this becomes um that in a continuous case in a continuous case this will use so we call this one equation two remember then also that this is also equal to the mean so all of this is still equal to the mu which is the mean in this case so um if you look at the first um in this case the mu here is given by e of let's say x so e of s is basically equal to the mean and this is what we are referring to as as the so this is the first moment so we call this one the first moment and then um so u1 as the first moment and then we can also have the second moment and the second moment is basically related to the variance the variance here is related to the variance here so we can have something like e of um so you are squaring the, that of the x here and this is what we are referring to as the second moment so this is in the case where you are given um, a piecewise function with two different variables and then what you have to do is to solve them um, uh, with a system of equations so we are solving them with respect to a system of equation whereby you have uh, two equations and then you equate each other to form to find one variable and then you use um, whatever um, you know to find the other variable so in this case it's related how is it related so you know that we have the variance the variance here is equal to um the summation of um s squared p of x and minus that of the mu squared here right so we know this to be the variance so in this case if this is the variance then you know all of this here is just the expectancy of just the s squared here minus the the mu which is the expected value which is also the mean and that is given by e of x here but in this case you are squaring all of that and that is equal to that yeah so as you can see you realize that um the variance here 
the second uh, moment here that we are talking about is actually related to the variance as we can see over here so basically from here we can just make um e of x here all squared um e of s squared s squared here the subject and that will just be equal to the um the variance the sum of the variance and that of the um the the mean right and that of the mean not this here and that of the mean so we have this one here rather so this is um how the whole um method of movement look like so in a case where you are given um a question which concerns district variables what we basically have to do is that you are given s values and then what you have to do is to sum these s values and divide by the number of s values which you are being given but in a situation where that is the first moment in a situation where we are to find the second moment what you do is to just um square each of the um s values you just um, square each of the s values divided by the number of the s values and that is for the discrete case but then in a continuous case you are solving it with respect to like it looks similar to you finding the uh, the expectancy or the mean of a, uh, a probability uh, density function of a continuous variable where you have x multiplying the f of s which is a piecewise function that you are being given you are given upper limit and lower limit then you equate that to um so with that also we can also equate that to that of the mean which is just the s here by here right so we can call uh, equate all of this to basically the mean which is just the mu here so if that is the case then in the web in the next video we are just going to talk about how to when you are given a question how do you solve this question using just this um, um explanation over here so i'll see you in the next video